Hi, this is for the graduate management admissions test. Also, some of this math is used on the GRE, but this specifically was taken from exams from the GMAT, as you call it. So it's for people who finish college and want to go to business school or want to take a GMAT to go maybe obtain a doctorate in business. Okay, so this is a graduate management admissions test problem number one. Let's take a look. If an advertiser sells an ad for $600, she will make a 20% profit. Instead, she sells the advertisement for 40% less. And how much was the advertisement? So when we start, I went ahead and wrote the equation on this page. Uh, the GMAT test advisors advise that you set it up as 600 equals X plus 0 0.20. And remember, this is 1X. So just think about that as we move on. So now here we are. You have 600 equals X plus 0.20X. This equation will determine what 20% of 600 equals. So here you are, said here, 600 equals 1.20x. What did I do? I remembered that this was a decimal, and I added this as a one whole, so I have 1.20x, and now I can solve. Okay, so now you have 600 equals 1.2x. You solve this as a regular equation, so you divide. You take the multiplicative inverse over to the other side. So when you, t when you divide 1.20 by 1.20 itself, you get 1, and so this x is isolated by itself. And then when you do it over here, if you divide... Um, 600 by 1.20, you get $500. And so this $500 is equal to what Okay, what would have been um, a 20% profit? And people are really willing to go and go 600 times 20. But here's the deal. If you do 600 times 20, you get 0, 0, <laughs> my zeros aren't, you get 0 over here, and you get this here, and you get a 12. And so you get 120. And so people think that it costs $720, when in reality, it's really not $720 because that's what people are tempted to do. So you don't do that first, you use an equation. Okay, so you guys saw the math on the last one. We saw that 500, uh, times 20%, you can do the math is going to, of course, give you um, 600, because you can see it right here. 5 times 2 is 10, but I'm just going ahead and doing the long division. So you have, sorry about that, that is a 0. Oops, sorry about that. That is a, um, this is a 0. And so you have 0 for a placeholder, then zero, 2 times 0 is 0, 0 times 2 is 0, and then this is 10. So when you get ready to add down, you have two decimal places, and that's how you get your 100. So easily you can go back and say 500. plus 100 equals 600. So again, that checks off. Okay, now what we need to do uh, to find out how much he actually sold it for. Now, if we take this amount, this 500, because that's the amount we want to have, 
you would do, and I'm just putting this here, that 500 times 40%. Think this through. 5 times 4 is 20. But let's go ahead and do the long division. 3, 0, 0 times 0, 0 times 0, 0 times 0. And then you have its placeholder here, and then 4 times 0 is 0. And then you have 4 times 0 is 0. And then 5 times 4 is 20. You're adding, so you can go down. But there's your decimal here, so it's 200. Now here's, here's the situation. You don't have 200 as a choice, and in this case, that's very fortunate because a lot of times, as a distractor, 200 would be put here. But here's what you have to do with this equation. Since you had 200, you had to subtract this 200 from 500. And that's going to give you your answer. which is now going to be $300. So your answer is A. All these other questions are a distractor. You could get 315, you could get 372. Uh, I don't even know how 400 and 440 unless you start doing adding the wrong place at the right time or misreading the question make sure that you're going to see what she does and you have to do both parts to start from 600 to make sure you know what actually was the amount which was 500 and then it's multiplied by 40 which time 40 percent point four oh which is uh, going to give you three hundred dollars because it's going to give you two hundred here then you subtract three hundred out if you did five hundred by sixty yeah, divided by sixty because you know that's the opposite of forty you could also get three hundred that way too okay she said a lot of times people forget which one to turn around so i just took the extra time to do some extra steps and as you get more proficient i don't know which book you're using to help you go through this but whatever gr map preparation you're being this five times six would make this three hundred and that would give you the answer here but you have to make sure you know which one you're using so and they're all in dollar signs so this problem is pretty much over. Let's go on to the next question. Okay, for our last problem, this is just a practice problem. Uh, number two, Zechariah finds that if he wears different combinations of jackets, shirts, and trousers, that he can make up 90 different outfits. So if he owns five jackets and three pairs of trousers, how many shirts does he own? Here's what's happening here. You have 90 different outfits. You have five times three pairs of trousers, which is 15. And let's go over what a combination is. A combination in math, for people who, who haven't been in high school for quite some time, is just you trying to find out what is going to add up to make something a whole. But you have to start out with your total amount so if you think about it your total amount was already given to you okay so if we look at step one uh it's just reiterating the question but let's think in terms of total equals part times part or part plus part So 
So I'm just taking the time to write this extra. <laughs> Sorry about it if you heard some silence there. Uh, Oh, well, the part here. What is wrong with me? Sorry about that. So part. So you're either going to multiply part times part, and you're going to get your total here. And keep in mind, you can have two parts of the equation. Like, they've already given you uh, your first part. They said, because they already told you that you had trousers and jackets. So you had part one from your jackets and part two from your trousers. So, you know, this is really asking you how to set this up. Once you have five times three equals 15, you have your equation here is your total is equal to 15 times n. So then if you write that, you have 90 equals 15n. And remember, I said over here, you either add or you, um, you, mul or, or you multiply. And so here, uh, what I'm going to do is go ahead and multiply. And if you guys know your times tables, you already know the answer. Let's go over our answers. You either have A is 3, B is 6, C is 12, D is 18, E is 30. 15 times 30 is going to give you like a three-digit uh, number over here, and we don't have that. We have a two-digit number. So you want to get rid of your this. And 15 times 18 is going to, but you could keep it as a possibility. That's going to be three digits, and so is 15 times 12 because you know you're going to add, because you know that 150 times 10 causes you to just simply add on another zero. So any number over 10 is going to give you like four digits or three digits or more. So it's either three or six. Now, you guys remember your times tables? Then this is what you do, but since we were already given that, we have 5 plus 3 equals 8, but we multiplied it out because when you see what's happening um, here, we have parts, okay? You don't do 5 times 3 for a combination. Combinations are strictly multiplying. So you forget about this because combination... 9 out of 10 times is multiplying. It's just something you know, and after a while, it makes sense. Plus, if you were to multiply either one of these numbers, and you were to divide uh, 8 into 90, you wouldn't get 3 or 6. So that's a good way to check behind yourself. So let's go on to the next uh, slide. So here's 2. What can make up 90 different outfits? That's the question. And here's how you know for sure you're going to just divide it out. Um, if you try to do 15 times 3, you're going to get 45. Okay, so that is out. That's 5. Carry my 1. 3 times 1 is 3, 45. So 3 cannot be the answer, so that's out. We already ruled out 12 and 18, so quite frankly, 6 is your answer. But if you keep multiplying, you know 15 times 4 is 60. And in case you don't want to do your whole times tables, all you have to do is remember that 15 times 5 must be the answer must be 15 more than that, so that's 75. So 15 times 5 is 75. And 15 times 6 is 90. So that's your answer. Zero. Carry my three. Six times one is six. Add 3 is a 90. So 6 is definitely your answer. Checks out. Have a good afternoon, morning, or evening, whatever you're on. And please don't forget to like us if you do. If you have any questions, jacobitslearning at gmail.com. Thank you.